Thank you, Dr. Miller. Thank you all, brothers and sisters, for being here. God bless you. I see a sign that says we stand with the bishops. Will we stand with you? We love you, bishops. We love you. From Matthew's Gospel, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly, I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Yeah! Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick, and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they also will answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry, or thirsty, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Truly I say to you, as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. These will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. Amen. Amen. Jesus makes it plain here that the religious practice of his followers is not restricted to Sunday worship alone, but that it extends. Thank you, thank you. It extends to the care of the stranger, the poor, the hungry, the sick, the imprisoned. He makes it further clear by his example, the many healings of non-Jews and the feeding of the 4,000 in the region beyond the Jordan, and by his teaching, the story of the Good Samaritan, that such care should reach beyond religious boundaries. In doing so, he follows clearly the Hebrew scriptures, as we read in Leviticus 19.34. You shall treat the stranger who sojourns with you as the native among you, and you shall love him as yourself, for you were strangers in Egypt. Our charity knows no bounds. You're right, we are not to be restricted. That's right, Bishop. Yeah. In fact, our eternal destiny depends on whether we extend care to those who are in need. When the sick arrive at a Catholic hospital, they are not required to show their baptismal certificates. We do not require children to be Catholic when they enroll in our schools. The Franciscan brothers and the many, many others that serve the homeless here on these very streets do not ask them what parish they belong to. When I used to lead Bible studies in jails and in prisons, I did not invite Catholics only. We do not serve the people that we serve because they are Catholic, but because we are Catholic. And we do this in direct obedience to the founder, not only of our country, but the founder of our faith, Jesus Christ. It's a matter of obedience. Praise be to Jesus Christ! The administration's actions represent a misguided attempt to tell us who we are and what we are allowed to do. 
They are trying to define us, but we have one who has defined us, our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah! We are commanded both to love and serve the Lord and to love our neighbor. Laws that protect our, free, our, our freedom to comply with just one of these commands, but not the other, are nothing to celebrate. They are foreign both to our religious and our national, national history. In the end, if we allow this debasement to stand, we will not only have turned our backs on our constitutional heritage, we will have turned away from the Lord. We stand here today to announce to our nation and to be all people of goodwill, that we will be relentless in our efforts to protect the free exercise of our religious faith. We love our country, and we pray for its prosperity. But above all, at the end of our lives, we long to hear the words, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, I did it, you did it to me. Welcome into the joy of your master. Yeah!